Welcome back to my channel. It's a great day, especially when fish is on the menu. Better yet, any seafood for me. So let's get into it. All right, so here I have about five pounds of kingfish. Um, picked this up at the um, restaurant depot. It comes in a 10 pound box. Sometimes it's like $4.99 a box. It's like $50 a box for a 10 pound box. It comes in different sizes, three quarter to a pound, a pound to two pound boxes. I prefer the smaller pieces. All right, so you can also pick this up at your local farmer's market. I'm in a, um, the Atlanta area, which Marietta, but I'm surrounded by about four to five different farmer's markets. And here I have all my seasoning already cut up. I'm using a little loose jerk seasoning. I have fish seasoning mixed with some um, all-purpose seasoning and my green seasoning. So it's very simple. Um, I'm just gonna season the fish. You don't have to marinate this. I'm just gonna, you know, just evenly distribute. I probably have about a tablespoon of the all-purpose, um, actually that jerk seasoning. I'm just gonna, you know, rub it on both sides and I'm not using any extra salt and pepper because this is already already have enough salt and there's some pepper in there as well. All right, so I'm just, you know, make sure I'm just rubbing it up on both sides and then I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of the fish seasoning and then I'm gonna go ahead and fry it in enough oil to cover the fish. All right, and this is the same thing with the fish seasoning mixed with a little all-purpose. This is Maggie is what I'm using. I probably use probably about a teaspoon of each and I combine them. So the fish will be nice and flavorful and um, you can just, you know, use your seasoning in moderation. Um, whatever seasoning you have, you can use. If you don't have the exact seasoning, you can, you know, use Lowry's or any all-purpose seasoning that you actually have on hand will, you know, make this recipe taste just as good. And I actually got these gloves from Golden Protective Services. They sent me a box of gloves and I actually don't have to change them through halfway through cooking. Oh my, they're so thick and durable. And especially when I'm using fish, usually my gloves is ripping, but these gloves are great. And here's my oil. I'm actually using some, this oil is already seasoned. I made some fried chicken with it a few days ago. I don't throw away the oil. It is so nice, spicy, and flavorful. I'm like, the fish is gonna be perfect in this. Um, so, and you know, this this um, this is a large frying pan. I got this probably about four or five months ago. Um, it's usually in the, um, it's actually called um, a Jamaican Dutch frying pan. I think it's from Florida, but I picked it up in my local um, Atlanta Caribbean market, H&M grocery right here in Kennesaw, Georgia. All right, so I'm just basically frying these fishes, um, as you can see, probably frying them for about five minutes on on each side. Because they're being brown stew, I don't usually fry them too long. It's not like I'm trying to fully cook them. So I'm just frying them for about five minutes on each side, and then I'm gonna remove them, drain off some of the oil, and then I'll make the sauce. And um, this, um, this frying pan is probably about 16 inches in diameter. Um, so I pull it out when I, when I need to. So it's always great to have these large um, frying pans. You can actually get something comparable on my Amazon storefront, um, those cast iron skillets. Some of them are, I have the 12, the 14, the 16. Um, they're all great to have um, instead of, you know, trying to, cook everything in these little, the smaller pans. This just makes everything easy. All right, so 
I'm just removing them from the oil. Um, as you can see, I don't need to, to drain them. Just taking them out, just putting them back in a container. And now I'm gonna just strain off, actually not even strain, I'm just gonna drain some of this oil off because I'm gonna use this, you know, a little bit of the oil that I fried the fish in to make the sauce. So the, um, like I said, the oil is well seasoned. So there it is, just strain some of it off and just leave back a little bit um, to make your sauce. And while that is going, see I have my rice and peas cooking to the side. All right, so I have everything going at once. So just make completing your meal very easy. I actually have a rice and peas recipe down on my channel so you can scroll down. So I have about one medium to um, small to medium onion. I have two tomatoes, probably using about um, four scallion stalks. I am using about two carrots. I already pre-cut everything up. Quarter of a sweet pepper. I only had the red one on hand. I have ginger and I have some garlic in here. And as you can see the time, I have that scotch bonnet pepper, but it was not hot at all. So. I'm gonna be using a little bit of jerk seasoning to give it a little more kick. All right, so just let this simmer and um, just saute your vegetables in the oil a little. Um, just doing this for about a few minutes. I'm not adding no salt and pepper. I already have the scotch bonnet, which is not really hot, like I said, so disappointed with that but it's all good just work with what I got I'm going to be just dropping probably about a tea well not probably about a half a teaspoon of the um, walkers with jerk um, seasoning in this all right so that's what I'm going to be doing all right so see I'm still adding some coconut oil coconut oil just makes everything taste better enhances the flavor of the food I usually pick up pick up about two to three bottles every time I visit Costco. Um, they're actually about $12, $11.75 to be exact, a bottle. So just grab a few bottles every time I visit. So, all right, just keep them on hand. All right, so I'm just moving right along. I am adding a the, the remainder of the, um, the jerk seasoning to this. And I'm also gonna add the remainder of the, the fish and the all-purpose seasoning, just a little. So it's probably whatever is left over is going in here. And I'll list all the ingredients and everything I'm using in the description box. I'm using about two tablespoons of the green my green seasoning, which that recipe is on my channel. You can scroll down and actually make this exact green seasoning and store it in your refrigerator. It does not go bad once it's preserved. Of you know, it basically as long as you have it, it'll it'll, it'll still be good. All right. All right, and I always have some escovy sauce or pickled pepper sauce in my refrigerator with the vinegar. So I'll just dip a little vinegar in there for about a, a teaspoon. And I'm also gonna add a little um, oyster sauce. If you don't have oyster sauce, if you just want your brown stew fish to have a little color and some flavor, you can add browning or you can burn your sugar to make your um, browning. And putting a little ketchup, um, you can you know add, subtract, minus. I put a little sweet chili sauce in mine. It's optional, but it makes everything taste better. So it's up to you. And you can add water for your gravy. Um, I like to use wine. Wine just makes everything taste better. When I'm cooking um, brown stew fish, I love ginger wine in the fish. It just, just tastes, you know, just give it a nice, nice, nice flavor. People always say, why are you cooking with wine? I get so many different comments, but... Trust me, when you're, you, I've been cooking for probably about 30 years. Um, I grew up in restaurants and cooking is all about trial and error and I, I don't believe in boring food. So I like to spice it up, take it up a notch, um, but it's up to you. You can use water if you don't have the wine on hand or I always keep white cooking wine on hand. 
that's another alternative or some people even put beer in their fish so all right so my sauce is this sauce was so good so rich and flavorful and that's what that's what I'm all about so just making things taste different we don't have to stick to the traditional that's why you know people put their own spin on recipes so you can do the same all right create your own so the sauce is basically ready like you said that, that process uh, it's just been going probably about five minutes I'm just gonna drop the fish in and I'm just gonna cover it and let it simmer for about 10 minutes and Voila, dinner will be ready. So by the time this is done, that rice and peas sitting on the side will also be ready. I'm gonna add some avocado pear, tomatoes, and fried plantain is definitely always on my menu. Sometimes I buy my plantains by the box because I mean like I'm cooking basically, not me one eating. Probably cooking about two to three plantains a day. All right, so that's that's how we roll <laughs> okay All right, so I'm just basically covering the, you know, put the sauce over the fish. And like I said, just let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Because the fish is 99, I'd say 95% cooked. Just need to simmer a little so some of the, the, the gravy can, the fish can soak up some of the gravy basically. All right, and then you have a nice meal. And again, um, just make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Drop your comments in the comment section. And um, yeah, follow me on Instagram, The Reina's Kitchen. I'm also on TikTok at The Reina's Kitchen. I'm also on Pinterest, The Reina's Kitchen. I'm on Amazon, all the platforms. You can just follow me and you know, I have some, I always have different ideas, different things coming in. So, and if you have any questions, you can always shoot me an email. It's um, thereinaskitchen at gmail.com. And here it is, so everything looks great. I, I guess I missed the part when I had it um, covered, but anyways, everything looks great. Everything is done. Here is your meal. And as always, thank you again for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.